Hello and welcome to our next webinar session. Um, thank you for joining us today. Um, as you have seen, we, have con we are continuing our webinar session uh, where we will be talking about the uh, technologies, uh, but also specifically about applications, implementations uh, together with our partners. And uh, today uh, we are joining forces uh, with Deuter Controls who are specialists in lighting control solutions. And I will be joined by uh, Michael Letzen, who is CEO of Deuter Controls, who will then guide you to his uh, product portfolio and of course also give you some examples. Um, I briefly switch on my camera. My name is Marcus Florian and I'm, um, I'm running the sales team at the Ocean in, in Germany, in Europe and based in, near Munich. Uh, but of course we have our teams uh, all over the world. I'm switching off again the camera to save bandwidth so that you have a uh, a better audio uh, experience. Um, maybe just uh, going to the first uh, slide. Um, we will, uh, here's a brief agenda, just a few words on an ocean in case you don't know us. Then of course also uh, Michael will give you an introduction about the data controls. And then of course we go directly into uh, the overview about lighting control solutions. Uh, we will have a, a detailed uh, analysis about the use cases and the challenges which has been solved by adopting the notion technology. And then at the end, as always, we will be having a Q&A session. So if you have any questions, you have of course the possibilities to raise them in the question uh, function, and then we will dedicate some time at the end to answer those uh, questions at the end. Um, yeah, just a few words on the next slide uh, regarding an ocean. Um, yeah, we are as an ocean, the world leader in energy harvesting. Uh, we provide uh, self-powered IoT solutions um, where we support uh, a variety of standardized wireless protocols, always in combination with energy harvesting, self-powered solutions. So we deliver modules and components in that context. So we support, um, of course, sub gigahertz uh, protocol and ocean protocol with 868 in Europe or 902 in the US, for example. And uh, we have also added support for Zigbee, uh, most recently also for Bluetooth low energy. In that uh, context, since 2003, we have shipped a double digit million amount of products into the market. And there are currently over 1 million buildings being uh, used with our technology. Those are buildings ranging from small private homes going up to big office buildings. And of course, covering a variety of application fields. Um, we have worldwide activities with the team. The headquarter is in Germany, but of course we have a team across Europe. Uh, we have also presence in, in the US and Far East. And of course, the activities are supported by a strong patent portfolio. There's over 100 patents we have in over 50 patent families being granted. Yes, and now I'm handing over to Michael um, so that he can, of course, uh, guide you through the solutions from Deuter Control. So, Michael, over to you. Thank you, Marcus. So, uh, hello and welcome, uh, everybody. So, let me switch on my webcam. At least I will try. Um, so, hi. Good morning. So, uh, also, I will switch off again my camera to, to save bandwidth. And, uh, okay, so let's go go through the slides. So, uh, I will try to squeeze down to, let's say, 20 minutes. And uh, I will skip any technical details so i think you're familiar already with wireless solution and an ocean so in case of any question uh, feel free to contact uh, marcus or myself uh, after after the show uh, to to check about technical details so um, in, a, in a few words uh, who is Deuta controls so we are company as a part of a Deuta group so most of the companies you see here are involved in uh, railway automation systems. So high reliable safety systems. Uh, the biggest company is uh, Deuter Werke. And uh, as our headquarter, we are placed in uh, Bergisch Gladbach, close to Cologne here in uh, Germany. Okay, so who is Deuter Controls in a few words? So uh, what we do is development, production and integration of electronics, electronic control devices for building automation. So uh, we started uh, a few years ago, so in uh, 2012. Uh, as I mentioned, headquarters in uh, Bergisch Gladbach. Um, besides others, we're experts in an ocean and DALI lighting controls. So from the very beginning, we supported the notion and on the interface side to, to the ballast, to the LED drivers, uh, we are mainly focused on DALI 
uh, as the interface that's worldwide available uh, where you can buy it. So product portfolio we have um, is starting from small devices. I will show you uh, on the next slide these an ocean DALI controllers and uh, then continues with uh, touch panels, uh, control devices, this is some peripheral and at the end we have a portfolio to set up to deliver a complete solution for building automation to our customers. Okay, so first question to the auditorium. So uh, who are you? So uh, which area does your company belong to? And uh, so to, to figure out um, if uh, the following slides uh, will fit to, uh, to, to your interests, or we have to, to uh, find another way to explain. So um, the question is, uh, are you a system integrator? Are you a manufacturer of uh, luminaires? Uh, or lighting systems, uh, do you have uh, a planning office, are you an electrician or something else? So mainly, um, so uh, we will, uh, somewhere I can see how many of you already answered, I think. <laughs> um, but in the meantime, our customers are coming from, from uh, any of these areas. So we have uh, system integrators, who buy only our components, our products. We have uh, manufacturers of luminaires who integrate our devices into their luminaires uh, as, as part of the luminaires. Uh, we have architects uh, who uh, still need support uh, related to what's available on the market. Uh, and uh, we have also electricians who have to know uh, how to interface an ocean to DALI, to LED drivers and so on. Okay, so uh, only we will wait a few seconds. Okay. So, at the end, I think most of you uh, made the selection. So, main focus is on uh, electrical specialists and system integration. And uh, so, I think the following slides uh, uh, should be of interest for you. Uh, so, as I mentioned, I will skip any technical detail and will show you some examples. Uh, about use cases and uh, how you can solve this with our products. So let's start with a very simple task. So we have a small office where we have some uh, LED panels um, and we have some, some desks. So um, in times of COVID, uh, we, we uh, will have uh, no single offices, I think, any longer. So in this case, um, the use case is a uh, customer request to have uh, one or more light switches at the entry door and he will have some LED panels with uh, dimmable electronic drivers, in our case always DALI, and so the customer would like to switch and dim the lights. And uh, in this case, uh, we have an easy solution. So this is where we, we come from. This is a so-called an ocean DALI controller. It's powered by 230 volts uh, AC. We have an, an ocean transceiver inside. In, in this case, we only need the receiver part to receive uh, the signals uh, from, from the light switches. So in this case, we can teach an up to 10 light switches to one controller. And uh, on the output, we have uh, a DALI master with an integrated DALI power supply and uh, you can directly connect up to 17 uh, LED drivers with DALI interface. So once you teach in, you have a service button uh, on the controller, and so you can teach in one or more push buttons, and then you can switch on, switch off, and dim any LED panel connected to the DALI ballasts, but all of them, the so-called DALI broadcast. So this is the simplest use case. Next step um, today, 
uh, anybody talks about human centric lighting so at least you would like to be able to change manually the color and uh, uh, the, the intensity of the lights so from cold to warm white and uh, there we have another controller with another functionality inside it looks exactly uh, like uh, the one i shown you before but in this case you can uh, teach in a double rocker and uh, so one rocker will uh, uh, switch uh, the, the leds and the other rocker um, will allow you to change the color from cold to warm white again up to 17 led panels can be connected directly and uh, the switch will dim and change the color of all of them so the next thing is uh, we will have uh, customers um, that do not like uh, these manual standard light switches and they ask uh, to have a touch controller a control panel inside a wall uh, to have a highly sophisticated nice looking uh, user interface and in this case we have a solution so we have a portfolio of uh, touch panels starting from uh, 4.3 inch up to uh, 21.5 and uh, you can design your front end there uh, with a background uh, jpegs inside whatever based on vector graphics and in the easiest way do you plug in now the notion usb stick into the usb port of the control panel and the application on the control panel will emulate uh, a light switch or up to 128 light switches and will send the same telegram towards the Notion controller as a standard light switch does so in this case it's a so-called rps telegram so you can use a control panel only so this push button here will send information to switch and dim the lights or you can use in parallel to standard light switch okay so next thing we have customers they ask for an app um, so it's fancy and uh, so we had to decide if we would like to follow up the app development since it's not uh, quite easy to follow the the versions of ios and android so we decided to use a web server instead and uh, so any control panel and also uh, our edge controllers i will show you have a web server integrated and uh, the only thing you have to do for your customer is to connect uh, the control control panel to the wi-fi um, in the building and then you can access uh, the visualization of the control panel by your smartphone by your tablet whatever so this is how we realize is a requirement from our customer to have an app okay now we go into more complex projects so you do not have uh, the possibility to use dali broadcasts but you have to switch uh, separate groups uh, you have to react on uh, motion detectors uh, you have to uh, follow up uh, the demand to to reduce energy consumption and this is when we developed this uh, flex option so we have a configuration tool it's a, our own tool based on a pc and uh, using this tool you can uh, configure uh, brightness sensors uh, you can use motion detectors uh, and you can use light switches so since this is a standard eep format so standardized uh, data communication you can use any sensor from the uh, from the ocean um, environment and then you can set up the controller to react in a way uh, that your customer um, requires so uh, set up let's say three different groups uh, with uh, three led panels in the first group maybe two in the second one and the remaining 10 in the third one and then you can set up some functions for example on off dim of a single group go to scene so dali supports 
uh, to set up uh, up to 16 scenes. A scene means uh, a dedicated dim value per luminaire. Uh, you can uh, go to a dedicated uh, dim level. And uh, so DT8, it's somewhat special for DALI. DT8 uh, means that you can also uh, set a, a luminaire to a dedicated color uh, using only one uh, DALI address. But that's uh, somewhat special. Um, I will skip. Okay, next thing is only to show you how the interface of our BLPC Flex to software looks like. If you uh, start our software, uh, you will see a typical uh, user interface for this kind of tool. Uh, but on the left side here, you will find our DALI controllers, uh, all of uh, the controllers in range of the USB stick. Uh, on the right side, for example, when you push the light switch, uh, it will uh, be shown in the so-called Notion Explorer. And in the middle, then you will see the configuration. For example, uh, this light switch should uh, switch on and off all the lights connected to our DALI controller here. Then you can upload using a wireless connection to the Notion controller. So this is a main difference to other uh, systems you will find on the market. We do not need a wired connection to the DALI. Uh, we do everything wireless. So you can enter into a customer's billing at any time, and you do not need uh, support by the electrician to, to interface to the DALI lines there. Yeah. Okay, next thing is uh, everything I described, uh, all of this functionality uh, we provide in different housings since uh, we have customers who need uh, to mount them in wall. Um, then we have the small housing. It looks like an electronic ballast. Uh, you can integrate into uh, LED tracks, uh, for example. It's quite small. Uh, this device here uh, fits directly into a light track, the DALI track, in this case from the manufacturer Airco. Uh, simply plug in, it's supplied by 230 volts from the track and connects to uh, the DALI also uh, inside the track. So simply plug in and then you can control also up to 17 uh, DALI LED uh, luminaires. Then this, uh, this device is something we provide to our customers. So uh, out of the box uh, solutions for IP65 or IP67, uh, they remount uh, the controller together with a DALI uh, power supply. Since, as I mentioned, this device is sufficient for 17 LED drivers uh, due to the fact that the DALI power supply only supports 35 milliamps. In this case, we, we add a DALI power supply and then you can control up to 64 luminaires. So this is what we do. So again, to, to be sure that you're still there, a question to you. And uh, what about your projects? So due to COVID, uh, what we see is that some projects are delayed or uh, are postponed due to uh, the fact that nobody is inside the office actually. And so the question is, uh, yes, you have a, um, a project you are actually working on and you see that uh, this will be realized within the next one to three months. Or maybe it's already in planning phase, but realization is in six to nine months. So uh, next spring, maybe. Or you only participate uh, to our webinar to, to gather some uh, information and uh, how to set up the, the next project, maybe. So what we see is that uh, projects, uh, we have a lot of uh, proof of concepts out actually, but uh, what we see is a, a delay due to COVID. And uh, yes, so I think uh, that's uh, quite uh, quite common situation actually for, for all the companies uh, inside this uh, field of uh, building automation. But we will see what, what will happen in the, in the next months. 
Okay, but actually I see that the more or less 40% uh, are still in a good phase. <laughs> you have to realize your project. And um, we'll wait a few few seconds more. Okay, so at the outcome, uh, everything is there. So uh, uh, immediately uh, projects have to be realized uh, some within the next six to nine months. And uh, some of you only want to have information, but so, uh, let's go to to projects. Uh, what we did in in the last few months to show you what's possible with our projects and uh, what you can do with an uh, ocean technology. So what I've shown to you uh, in the first slides is uh, how to to uh, automate some simple uh, simple use cases. So uh, office solutions, and now we go outside. First example here is a sports hall in Curl Aberdeen Stadium. It has been also in the Perpetuum magazine, one of the last ones. And the main thing I will show you in the next slide is uh, always the same with only three wires coming out of the roof. And uh, it's simply not possible to use a standard wired bus system there. So you could also use a wired DALI system, but uh, it was not possible. So what we did, or our customer did in the UK, is to to place one of these uh, an ocean data controllers I've shown to you. These small black black ones have been mounted on top of uh, the luminaire, and so in this case we I do not remember exactly. I think 24, 25 luminaires uh, equipped with uh, one an ocean data controller on top. And uh, in this case, we can use a DALI broadcast since one luminaire has three DALI LED drivers inside. And it's quite simple. They have only one light switch somewhere on, uh, on the door and they switch and dim all the lights at the same time. It was quite tricky uh, only uh, to, to mention since uh, this is used for uh, championship and they transmitted it uh, in the TV <laughs> and the main thing they had to solve was that uh, the HD cameras uh, noticed the flickering of uh, the LED drivers. So <laughs> this was the main thing they had to solve. Control solution from us worked out of the box as expected. Okay, next thing is a production hall. Same story. Customer was not able to, to shut down uh, for installation since uh, this has been, I think, two years ago. And they worked uh, three shifts the whole day. And so the task was only to uh, dismount one luminaire, bring up a new one with a controller on top. And uh, if you look here, uh, you have the same situation on top of each luminaire. Uh, you have one controller. And uh, yes, so. Uh, this is a classic situation where we have only three wires. Next thing is to show you that uh, an ocean is not only for the office, um, but this is one of the biggest European uh, companies uh, involved in uh, to, to um, uh, recycle old uh, old cars and, and metal and all of the stuff. So this is outside harsh environment and uh, same story. You have three wires and we have one controller on top of uh, each luminaire. Last but not least, uh, this is where we started with um, one of the first projects uh, at daughter controls with an ocean and Dali controllers. This is the church, the, the dome in uh, Frankfurt, St. Bartholomeus. And uh, you will find our controller on the bottom of, uh, of this uh, light track. So you have in, uh, in uh, front of the church, you have three uh, light tracks on the left and on the right side. And you will find one controller on the bottom of uh, each. Uh, the third one is here somewhere. <laughs> And uh, so they are able to switch and dim the, the, the luminaire groups uh, by a, a simple remote control. Okay, 
then I will show you that we can scale up the, uh, this uh, idea of uh, wireless lighting control. So what we developed in the next step is a kind of antenna, so an, an ocean transceiver. And uh, this is the so-called anodisc. Um, it works in the way that we have an, an ocean transceiver, bidirectional inside. And on the other side, we have Ethernet, since uh, we are quite convinced that the future is uh, IP-based. So um, we can uh, um, mount uh, one or more than one uh, anodisc inside a building, connect by Ethernet to a central PSC. This could also be a control panel from us. In this case, it's an edge controller without a display. And uh, inside the building, we have decentralized lighting controllers where you can uh, teach in a standard light switch, for example, uh, to control the light inside the room without any, without any support from a central PLC. And to realize central functions, for example, to switch on uh, and off lights in the morning and in the evening uh, when uh, people forgot to switch off the lights inside the office, uh, then you can realize this by a central PLC. And uh, only a few details for the Anodis. So it's ply, uh, supplied by power over Ethernet. So quite simple to install following the, the Anotion idea. And we have Ethernet, we have Anotion, and we use also here a standardized protocol to interface to a PLC. So for system integrators of you, we use standardized format here. Nothing uh, dollar control specific. So in this way, you can realize not only one small office, but as we did, for example, here, this is a, a bigger project. This is a job center in Kassel. So um, actually two years old. And uh, so four floors, uh, I think 90 by 90 meters, and we have 250 single offices. Uh, there we did not only the lighting control, but uh, we also control the blinds outside. So we have uh, uh, an ocean-based uh, uh, engines there, and uh, we included them into our control system. But today we will talk about lighting control. This is a floor plan. Uh, one of the four floors, they look exactly, uh, all of them look exactly in the same way. So here you have a small office, for example, and inside each office we have one of the Anotion controllers with one light switch per room, a combined a double rocker, uh, one rocker for the lights and uh, one for the blinds. And uh, so each employee is able to switch the lights according to their needs. But at the end, we have also, uh, we have seven of these anodisc uh, distributed around the building. And uh, in the morning and the evening, uh, we can control the lights and the blinds by schedulers, uh, by manual interaction on the control panel. And so it's a complex system with, a, with an Ethernet backbone, let's say. And here we have the key facts. Four floors, more than 250 an ocean data controllers, 28 base units. So this is a small edge controller you've seen. One central control, uh, central touch control panel, and yes, some some distributed smaller control panels for service. And at the end, we have uh, remote access to this building, and we can update. Uh, we can control everything. Uh, from remote. I think this is one thing uh, that's quite important for COVID times, let's say, when you are not allowed to enter into a customer's building. So again, uh, this is a project example. Uh, you've seen already one picture where I've shown you that uh, we have um, a controller mounted on each luminaire. Uh, but this was not everything the customer requested. You see that uh, he has a lot of uh, windows in, in the roof, so a lot of uh, um, daylight inside. And in this case, customer uh, wants to have uh, a number of uh, ambient light sensors 
to dim down lights uh, when the uh, when the sun is shining outside. And since he he has uh, a lot of areas where people do not work the whole day, uh, he would like uh, wanted to in, uh, install also motion detectors to switch uh, and dim lights according to to uh, if the area is occupied or not. So this is the floor plan of the production area. It's uh, 130 by 90 meters, I think, and. Uh, these symbols here um, uh, show uh, the, the daylight sensors and this symbol here is a motion detector and if you see uh, we have 14 motion detectors to control separate uh, zones of the area of the building and also we have here the daylight sensors that uh, dim uh, separate zones according to the daylight inside the zone. So a quite complex system, um, but everything realized with uh, an ocean technology. So to show you as an example uh, from industrial automation. So next thing we did. So a few weeks or, or months ago, Aruba entered into the an ocean uh, alliance. And I think maybe you have seen this webinar also from, from the an ocean. And so uh, only a few words. Aruba provides, besides others, uh, access points with uh, an USB port on top. And now you can, uh, exactly there, and now you can plug in there the Ocean USB stick. And in this way, you can use existing infrastructure of Aruba access points, for example, the guest uh, Wi Fi inside a hotel, to collect an ocean sensor data and even to send out an ocean data to. Um, heating valves, for example, to control the temperature inside a room. What we did is we support the Aruba interface by our controllers, in this case, the edge controller, the VL700 base, to interpret data coming from the Ocean. So to, to remain in this example, we have distributed Ocean controllers inside a hotel, for example, to control lighting. Uh, the uh, the an ocean data is sent out by the Aruba, but the, the control to so a human uh, interface to switch on the whole floor or dedicated room can be realized by the uh, application running on our control panel or the edge controller. At the end, you can control it from anywhere since we can interface to the cloud, it's a, it's a nice cloud, isn't it? And uh, so we can interface to more or less any cloud available on the market, actually. So uh, Microsoft Azure, Amazon, AWS, and at the end by MQTT, we can adapt uh, interface to, to any cloud solution. And this is what we actually do. So for you, we also support Aruba access points. We are one of the first ones uh, who have a gateway supporting this Aruba idea. Okay, so uh, to to be sure to to check that you're still there, <laughs> uh, the last question to you: um, If you think that you are working in a pure retrofit, as I've shown to you, that um, I think for us more than seventy percent actually uh, are these three wire projects. Uh, or if you see that you have uh, at least mixed systems, hybrid systems, uh, where one part can be can be wired, so in case of DALI, five wires, uh, since you have new installation, or you have to survive with these three wires, <laughs> or even two, <laughs> we find. And so we, we as a manufacturer of wireless controllers are happy since I can sell much more controllers to you. Okay, so actually we are um, at 50-50, let's say. And uh, okay, so um, I, as I, I mentioned we have 70, so 50, 50 is also uh, in, in this range. So um, we have to, to, to provide solution uh, not only for, let's say, wireless only, 
but we have to take care of uh, mixed systems where we have to interface uh, to existing infrastructure in, inside the buildings. Okay, so next slide. What, what we do is uh, we have to think about solutions uh, due to COVID and due to um, energy savings. And uh, so we use uh, new technologies. In this case, uh, we use this uh, Swiss knife, uh, what's the name, at the end ocean. So this multi sensor from the end ocean. And you can uh, get it from different manufacturers uh, inside the end ocean alliance. Uh, what we did is to uh, provide a special form factor. So what you see is you have to be, uh, don't take care of your desk, uh, simply drill a hole inside, the standard hole of I think it's 62 millimeters. Then you can plug it into your desk and uh, then you can use it for example, as shown in the next slide, to realize a constant light um, on, on your desk as required by, by law at the end. So for example, to set up a control loop for 500 lux. So put it inside your desk or use an, a different kind of sensor if you do not want to, to drill a, a hole into your desk. Put it onto your desk and uh, then we use uh, one value, uh, so the, the ambient light measured by the multi-sensor to send it to uh, the Ocean Dali controller. And then you can set up using our PC software to control the, the dim level of the LED panel to uh, have a stable value of 500 lux, for example, on the desk. And even better, uh, when you go to, uh, to have a break for lunch or whatever, we use the second um, sensor inside the multi-sensor, so vibration detection. And in case of no vibration is detected, since you left your desk, uh, you can set up the controller to dim down the lights to 5%, 10%, or even to switch off. But switch off is uh, not a good idea inside an open office, since uh, this will disturb your, your uh, colleagues. But uh, even dim down to 5% would be a good solution. Okay, this is uh, some example how to use this multi-sensor together with our controllers to provide uh, a solution uh, to your customers uh, to, to save energy and some intelligent uh, solution there. So coming back to these hybrid solutions, so a customer uh, asks you, hey, I will, uh, would like to reuse my standard light switches inside the ball. They are quite new and uh, I do not want to spend additional money for these and ocean switches. There we have also an answer. So uh, as you uh, will find also at other manufacturers, we have this interface, these DALI input coupler. So uh, with one of them, you can interface up to four standard uh, closing contacts and we will collect them, send them by the DALI line to the BL204. So this is the news controller. And uh, then you can use also this wired light switch. In the same way, you can uh, use an, an ocean light switch. For the controller, it looks exactly uh, like the same. In addition, we will send out this information by an ocean RPS uh, telegrams. So in this way, you can also use um, an ocean uh, switching actor uh, to be controlled by the by the an ocean controller here. So to to put in some ideas into your mind, you can also mix up now wired and wireless technologies. Okay, so next thing is uh, in in existing systems uh, we are quite often asked to uh, interface to. Uh, existing infrastructure, I think, at least in, in uh, Europe, we have to face to KNX uh, quite often, and this can be realized. So we support the whole an ocean infrastructure, collect them, for example, by the anode disk, forward to our control panels. There we have Ethernet, depending on the device, up to three Ethernets. 
and inside the control panel with our software we support actually more than 100 different protocols so for example knx tpip we support dimex uh, we have for sure modbus uh, rtu or tcp we support backnet ip we have can open in case of can open you would have to have an additional plugin module on the back side for can fi interface with codes inside we support siemens s7 directly and uh, we also have services for opc ua server client inside so we can interface an ocean to any field bus interface and we can interface just in the other way around so control and ocean actuators by knx for example Next slide. So uh, one thing we have to take care of is that some customers still do not trust in wireless technology. Do not know why, but they do not trust. And we have to support this idea. So we have to figure out how good is the radio uh, condition inside a building. So uh, uh, actually, most of the time you have some special uh, measurement instruments to, to go out there to check the, 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 uh, the RSSI levels, so the signal strength coming from an ocean light switch, for example. What we did is we implemented a web server into our NO disk. And if you connect to the NO disk using the IP address in your browser, you can access the ocean monitor inside. And so you have a website that is dynamically updated each time an, an ocean telegram is received and then you have access to any relevant information of a telegram received so you will see the rssi level seen by the anode disk and not by a measurement tool and again in COVID times when a customer calls you and says hey, i have a problem there's something going wrong with my system uh, you can dial in with remote um, access to the system and can start to, to check uh, radio conditions inside the system in real time. And last but not least, we implemented uh, the same function inside our uh, NOcean data controller. So when you connect to the controller, this is again our software I've shown to you. Then you select the controller uh, on the left side. And then you will see here the RSSI level of the telegrams uh, relevant for this controller. So the light switch is configured to switch on and off the lights. And then I will see in this case the uh, signal strength minus 53 dBm uh, in case of the last telegram. So quite powerful instrument for debugging a system as a customer. Last but not least, some new products from us uh, to come up to the end. These are some, uh, some luminaires, some illuminated door signs to show if a, if a room is occupied or not. Uh, we can connect directly, for example, a CO2 sensor to show uh, in different colors, so uh, green, yellow, red, uh, the concentration of uh, CO2 in a room, if you have to open uh, the window or not. And this is something um we are also providing to our customers in the meaning of a complete solution let's say yes so uh, i'm at the end i did not check uh, the time but i hope that uh, there have been some interesting information inside the slides and uh, yes in case of any questions now we come to the q and a <laughs> Um, yeah, Michael, this is Marcus. Maybe as a suggestion, since we are a little bit over time, maybe we just collect the questions and reply uh, by email, if you're okay with that. Uh, yes, for, for sure. For me, it's okay, since uh, maybe there are some uh, questions of interest for others, but uh, they do not, uh, or they do not have the time to wait. So for sure, we will answer to to any question you will send to to Marcus or to, or to me. And uh, I think, Marcus, you will place it uh, somewhere also for Q&A as, as the outcome of, of the session. Right. 
yeah no so so thank you for for guiding us to this uh, very interesting presentation uh, there will be also for for people who uh, maybe want to see it where there will be of course a replay available of the entire presentation and um, on the last slide we also have our contact details so everybody raising uh, additional question or if you come up uh, some further questions afterwards uh, just let us know um, the contact details are included here and uh, maybe on the next slide um, we uh, will of course continue on our webinar series uh, so the next uh, webinar session will take place in November with our partner CWS uh, uh, where we will be talking about hygiene solution of course also a very uh, interesting topic and uh, of course also just uh, feel free to um, provide us uh, your input on what you would like to uh, to see and uh, then of course again um, if you have questions let us know uh, on the last slide uh, you will find the contact details of uh, Michael of course if you're specifically interested in details and have questions on the solution from data controls or of course also send questions to myself 